Okay. Let's look watch. This is gonna be fiction wizzy from Big House. Let's see what he does. And also let's see how long in between each game it is. I'm probably gonna be mostly looking for how he avoids Falcon and gets his openings, because I feel like that's where I struggle the most. Okay, so that was just wonky. Jab grab. Was he just shielded? <laughs> no shield grab today. He got a shine out of that, really? Okay, that, that's actually kind of impressive. I'm pretty sure at 28, up throw kind of starts working. So, I think he just missed his dash. Punishes, so he punished the end of stomp. I want us to pay pretty close attention to what he's punishing. Punishes the end leg of stomp, Lizzy rolls in. That's what he tried to do. Punishes landing. Okay, so so far I'm seeing he's like to, he likes to punish landings. That has a rinse for the edge guard, nothing too tricky there. Okay, uh, and if he waited, if he waited for that up there, he would have punished that landing too. I feel like when I watched none recently, I noticed that too, where he always like landed with an aerial. I don't know what that JC was. Again, the drill was tried getting, got caught was he trying to act out of shield. Missing up air. Up tilt, so he up tilts shield and then he up tilts again, he's expecting him to stomp out of shield. Interesting. Don't ever spot Dutch versus Falcon. It's never gonna work with a pimp. Roll it. Ooh, okay, there was rolling. It looked like he was gonna roll in eventually. What could he have done here? Hold on. I like this. I like that. I he I think he should have went to ledge instead of going to the platform though. Let me see this. Shine. Turn around. Jump to ledge. Or maybe like throw a back air here and then short hop back air again. Yeah, I think the back air and then short hop back air would have been better. Cover immediate jump, cover jump back. And then you can react if he goes low. Okay. He got zaned. Uh, tried to he tried to punish another landing. It seems like that's really what he goes for. Roll in again, yeah. Don't. I can't believe Wizzy just CC's fucking jab. And he's not dead. Now he's dead. <laughs> Somehow Wizzy doesn't, like, basically never drops that. That sloppy play. Didn't hold ledge. It's so scary, too, but nobody does it. Then Wizzy caught him jumping back to ledge. Oh, my God. This is all because he didn't hold ledge. I guess you should have shined salt longer on the bottom. I feel like Wizzy's just, like, an RPS machine when it comes to that stuff, though. Missed away shining our grab for it because it was on shield, and now you might just die gonna go to ledge yeah okay not much talking to really do about that back air should be easy i feel like i don't know i feel like the way wizzy plays not in a bad way simplifies the melee so much to just like punish landing punish him leaving the ground whenever someone gets touched they die it's like so weird punish landing And he shields this. Okay, so interesting. The second he took to the air, he just shielded. And I've talked to... Someone's told me about that too. Okay. So he just threw up a shield. Punished the landing. Came down with an aerial. Oh, that was an up tilt. That was 100% an up tilt. The face, the jab, it tells me everything. Yeah, I was turning up tilt. <laughs> He's so pissed. Do you think your biggest weakness is your mental game? Definitely shows in the player cam. So... Uh, I'll talk about that briefly. There's nothing wrong with showing emotion and wearing like your heart on your like or like on your shoulder. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a good thing. I think it depends on the person. Uh, and sometimes it helps me. Sometimes it doesn't. I, but I don't think it's objectively good or bad. On your sleeve, thank you. I couldn't for some reason I couldn't remember the saying. I don't think there's anything wrong with showing emotion. I don't understand the stigma that showing emotion is a bad thing. Or it means, like, you're salty. Like, I, I, I personally don't get that at all. I think it's kind of silly. What are these lasers? I don't really like them. 
So I appreciate that thing. Hmm. Okay, so he's just waiting. So I think uh, obviously the mix up at low percent is jump out between uh, a jump out or read that they're not going to jump out and up smash. And I, I guess he expected him to jump out there. Up smash, yeah. Read the jump. Traded with back air. What? Oh, I traded with Nair. Okay, that makes way more sense. It looked like, for some reason, it looked like back air to me. Lasers bad versus Falcon. Yeah, I think Lasers only good. Uh, basically, if you're if Fox is here and Falcon's here, I like to use Laser because someone like Wizzy will like start jumping across the stage to punish her Laser, and then you just shield. But generally speaking, yeah, I only like Laser to uh get them above zero. What was Shep looking for here? And why did Wizzy just grab? I guess she should have drilled, but still, it's just weird. I wouldn't want to slide up. Can't afford to miss that tech. Can't afford if Wizzy's going to fuck up, though. Could have punished that landing punish. Dude, this, this is literally all he's doing. Is this all you have to do versus Falcon? Oh, that was a, that was a fuck up and a half. That should have been dead. Right there, that's death. Yeah, I don't know how he missed that. <laughs> what is this hitbox, dude? He got fucking nipple spiked. Yeah, nice. Uh, half the tech side be there. Just half the tech side be. Because even if they don't, even if you like do that up, they can just do the stomp and then jump off and back air you. What's up, Coxon? Cannot keep just doing that up B. I do it all the time and it's not that good. Jab. Uh, good forward air instead of nair. Nair you can get slide off on. Forward air again. And then up smash, yeah. Okay, good. Forward air definitely the best thing to use uh, off of up throw against high percent falcon. I'm just so, like, intrigued by how Wizzy gets these grabs. Like, what the fuck? I guess, so I, th I guess the key is you just have to throw out aerials in place, like, consistently. Like, especially, like, retreating aerials against him. You can't, like, leave yourself open at all. Because he'll just run in. Medium shorten. Nice. No spot dodge this time. He spot dodged her last time and got fucked for it. He's trying to get Ledge Chef tilt out so badly. I could tell. Up smash. Not going to lead to much because he was a good DI. What what should you do here? Can you get a regrab here if you unfold the eye? Does anyone know? I actually don't think I know what to do with this percent. Dash attack. I feel like if they hold out, the combo would end though. Not to be kind of glad they didn't do. Yeah, I'm happy that someone who doesn't play. Uh, I'm happy when people who don't play do poorly. Nothing against the people, but that's just how I feel. Well, that op throw. How do you? I think it sets up for a tech chase better than Nair. I feel I feel like you can't. I feel like at that percent Nair is okay. I feel like you should Nair at that percent. Yeah, I don't know. I think you should Nair at that percent because it's like a medium percent and you can't go too far from Nair. Yeah, if it was higher percent, I would forward air, but I think at that percent you should Nair. Yeah, because even there he's Nairing. Look how well that's set up. So I think Nair is okay. I think Nair is the answer there for sure. What was he expecting? Like, look at the grab here. What's he expecting? So he nared and then he jumped. Why was he? Did he expect? Was he just dash dance? I don't know. I feel like that grab wasn't that good. Dude, like, are you for real? He just, he just like, look at this grab. What the fuck? That's so. I don't know. Okay, nice. Ooh, he goes for back air. I guess he thought that Wizzy might hold out because he's gotten fucked by uh, the fair multiple times until you tried back airing him. I guess. I don't really know, though. Pu okay, tried to punish the Nair landing. Tried to up tilt there, I think. Uh, he's gotten up tilt instead of jab instead of up tilt a few times. Jesus, the mash. And you're dead. <coughs> Which is actually probably the best Falcon at that. Where it's like, <coughs> he'll be ready for an up B. And then react to your side B and just stomp you for it. I don't see other Falcons do it. 
I think it's just his reaction time. One of the few times I say his reaction time is actually busted. Up smash? Really? I love this. I love this. I would turn on an up tilt here. Like, 10 out of 10 times. I guess he's still got a follow up off it. But I feel like... So this is a situation where when I'm looking at punish game, I'm not looking at like, okay, up smash, I can convert off of it. Because after that second, after whatever you do after the up smash, you don't get anything. Sometimes when you drop punish, you have to go like two moves back. You're like, okay, could I have done a different move to set up the last move I did that would allow me to get more? If he up tilts here, he's at a lower percent and you can do a lot of things out of it because he's lower to the ground. Up smash sends him so high that you get one hit and then you just have to shark him. I think that that's actually something a lot of people are really bad at with punish game is going back multiple moves to seeing if they can like rework the chain so that there's like a more guaranteed conversion like long run instead of just looking at the last move they did and trying to figure out why the combo ended. I don't I don't like that up smash at all. It's kind of lazy. Oh, I do that dash attack so much. I, does he die for this? I know I'm pretty sure he wins this game, but that dash attack is so tempting. You have to react there, and then. He just charges up smash. Nice. What's up, Sika? Yeah, you got modded during the uh, fucking Palooza yesterday of uh, copy pasta. Excuse me. Damn. Wizzy taking his water break. Oh my god, look how long it is until they play again. That's so annoying. I'm not gonna lie, Zach did this to me at the UCI local and I was kinda pissed. I was like, really, Zach? I thought we were cool. <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna do this to me, bro? Let's let's analyze what was he's doing. Right, he's warming his hands up. He's warming his hands. Staring into space. Big game. <laughs> this guy thinks he's gonna win. I'm gonna wait a minute to play. Although oh my god, look at the bags under his eyes. I know he said he got no sleep. He wasn't joking. Dude, he looks exhausted. Holy shit. He's gonna lose his Zane Falco. Oh no. Dude, Wizzy looks awful. He looks so tired. He wasn't kidding. Punch landing. Tried to shield grab. Wait. What happened? Oh, I think I remember seeing that and being like, what the fuck happened? I actually didn't ask him what the hell that was about. Top platform. This is actually this is what I meant about the lasers earlier against someone like Wizzy who's hyper reactive. You can do the laser to get them to come in and then you just shield. He tried trying out a shield but he fucked up, but the idea was really good. Full hop, yep. Low commit, low commit. The back air is fine, doesn't need much. Drill's fine. It sucks he's getting out of CC percent, but at least it's not getting to a grab, which is the important thing. Good wave line back. Ooh, he got out of that range. I feel like this is just like a matchup knowledge thing. It's like he just got completely out of range. Yeah, Chef's really, really good at that type of stuff. A lot of people used to dislike fiction, but it's mostly because of Twitter. And honestly, I feel like if you actually get to know him, he's actually, like, obviously he's my teammate, but like he's a really cool guy. I like him a lot. Good friend of mine. Salty when he loses, but... I don't think salt's a bad thing. I actually get so mad when people are like, oh, guy's salty, fuck him. It's like, do you not know what passion is? Some people, that's how some people, that's just what some people's passion is. You're passionate about something, you're gonna get salty. Ooh, that was great. Re reacted again, got the shine out of shield, got a grab out of it. I see, like, what his brain is doing when he's going for, like, this shine. It's like, oh, reacts here. Try to shine him and land on the platform to follow up. But I feel like the reaction should instead be, let's stay down here and just shark him. I, I like, I can very visually see, like, what his brain's thinking when he's doing it. I just think that he should retrain the reaction. Which is probably why he has punish game issues. Also, tech side B. I mean, assault should be limited. I mean, should it be, though? Uh, why should it be? Depends, uh, like... If you're salty, like, at yourself, I don't think that that necessarily should be limited. I think it should only be taken into account if it's affecting other people. Uh, this is why you do forward air at this percent. He can get naired off. He can get slide off on nair. Grabs ledge, but Wizzy's gonna fall on stage. He, he did that early in the set, too. Double jump back here. Nice. And now you can jump out there and just react. Yeah. Super easy. This should be rinse and repeat. Yeah. 
Nice. What's tech side B? You can you can do it to either catch the ledge or you can go, like wall jump high and then side B up. If you think that they're gonna do stomp slide up grab ledge. Which some people do. Good back airs. It's all super safe. Punishes the landing again. Dude, I just need to play more patiently versus Falcon. Like, that's all I'm getting. For... And obviously, I need to, like, practice it. But I just need to, like, wait for him to do something and then punish it. Kind of what he's doing to me. I just have to be more disciplined than him. Go high. Oh, I would have went a little higher. Yeah, I would have tried to, like, land right here. So right here, I'm picking the angle that takes me to, like, right to this part of the stage. Because I expect him to not try to cover it. That's like the fifth time Wizzy's gotten a grab like that. I think what's happening is when Shep is dash dancing, uh, Wizzy's mixing up between like running an aerial, running a grab, and so I th it almost feels like he's like not reacting when Wizzy goes in the air, eyes on the ground, but he re he's like waiting for Wizzy to go in the air, and then if Wizzy doesn't go in the air, he just keeps dash dancing and gets grabbed. Take a drink every time Wizzy stretches his neck, I'd be fucking dead. I'm sure there's, like, reasons he does it. I don't think it's just, like, something he's just doing. What is he's tech chasing? F-tilt. Ooh, mid-shorten. I see you. Okay, so this up-tilt apparently really good. I actually forgot I used to do this a lot, where I do this, like, frontwards-facing up-tilt, and it, like, stuffs that. Uh, he fucked up his tech tail and got raptor boosted. I don't know what Wizzy did. Wizzy fucked up a lot there. I almost think... If I I'm gonna start doing like runoff shine buffer tech. I need a buffer attack there somehow. That happens all the time where you get reversaled. There, yeah. Uh, back air works. He didn't need to, but I understand that it was a little tricky. What the? I don't know what was he did there. Didn't he have back pain? Yeah, he said he had back pain the night before. He looks, like, miserable. So those bad stomps of fiction is up-tilting those stomps? Uh, no. So it's a mix-up between dashing back and stomping. And, uh, up-tilting. So a lot of those stomps are to cash dash back into the corner. <laughs> and so it's, like, a mix-up between overshoot and just, like, not, like, attacking at someone hold down yeah see look at him he's just so good at like punishing these aerial landings even if he misses it it's like he's just going for it every time <laughs> okay well that was bad i mean some of the stomps are bad but i'm saying like that's generally what he's trying to do oh no that feels so but i the wizzy gets this stomp more than or this knee more than anyone else it hurts so badly Watch Lucky vs. Wizzy at this tournament. I'll go over that probably later, honestly. Uh, so, I actually talked to Lucky about this, and he said don't even try to like watch him vs. Falcon, because he just feels like he plays like an idiot. <laughs> we were talking about that at the UCI local. I actually think what Shep's doing here is really easy to mimic. It's like really straightforward and easy to mimic. And I kind of want to try this. I kind of want to play a Falcon now. Oh, that's that, that was a bad... Uh, down B. He got fucked by this. That up tilt was also great. He caught him catching out of the corner with that. Yo, Shep's fucking good. Should be dead. Mmm, that hurts. You just gotta... Dude. Okay. Right down here, you can just start jumping down and shining. I don't think there's any... I At least from my, what I can tell, there's no reason not to. Shorten? I would have shortened there. Was he so good off the ledge? You don't want to try to threaten that. I feel like you have to look at Lucky for game plan stuff, not like specific interactions. Kind of, yeah. Jumped over with the back here, yeah. Get up attack? Ooh, sent him the wrong way. He still gets... God, Falcon is so fat. <laughs> I was about to say, if he lived that. Up smash. Ooh, he missed it. That sucks. Trying to punish the timing in there. Was he actually did? Was he actually mixing him up by doing this no fast fall back air? That's like, that's like what I love doing with back air. 
Wave Shine, Up Smash, on the Tech Chase. That's also something I need to Tech Chase with, with Shine against Falcon. There's no reason to do anything else. Oh, uh, sorry. I, like, looked away for half a second, and then he just fucking disappeared. Because he missed a tech and got need, Jesus. Right? I remember seeing that and being like, what? I can't believe Wizzy just went for that. I get fucked so hard. Just did no fastball bear. Yep. Dude, it's an amazing mix up. Why did he double jump here? Like. I feel like that was a mistake. There, there's, there's, I don't think there's any practical reason to do that. It also seems like in like a lot of the common areas where he would roll, he actually just like does shine instead to cover himself, and then when Wizzy tries to read something, he can whip punish the landing. Like that was a classic roll situation. Ooh, good back here. Up till. And this is fine, honestly. Like, oh my god, never mind. I was going to say, like, even if Wizzy doesn't roll in, just keeping space here is super valuable. But then this happens. Sometimes Fountain is good for Falcon, but usually not. Let's just nair. Wizzy tried challenging it. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've looked at this edge guard a million times now. You just, pre the second you see him here, you preemptively jump out. If he upbeats here, you react. If he falls, you shine. And if he goes low, you can just grab ledge. I'm pretty sure I've looked at this a few times now, so I think what I would do here in my new Falcon edge guarding strat, which may or may not work, right here, jump back to like right here so he can't aerial me. If he starts up being, I'm gonna jump reaction back here, and if he falls, I'm just gonna grab ledge and then react from there. But it's it, but because he did the back air so early, it gave Falcon room to drift. He did it like so far on the stage. And then the same kind of idea there, except I guess it's a little scarier here because he's like so close. But I think you have to jump up with the back air. Tomahawk grab. Which is good because he's been re reading roll in every single time. And so now he's like, oh, I'm not going to roll it. I'm just going to shield. Okay, that up air worked. That back air worked. Is it best that I just practice my way dash and wave line before anything else? Uh, just get a sense for your character. The first thing you need to do is be comfortable moving with your character, first and foremost. Uh, I would just practice movement in general. Practice movement and try to combo, like, every character, like, a little bit each day. That's what I did when I started. Great. He, he called out the no fastball. Was he H-shift for it? It's also... So, I feel like there's not even a... One of the issues with Wizzy's, uh, neutral right now is there's no mix-up between, like falling and aerialing and falling and tomahawking it's just he falls with an aerial and it's just he fast fall it or does he not fast fall it which isn't very tricky if he threw in a tomahawk where it's like he tomahawk or like wave landed out of a full hop he'd be so much scared because now you can't just like brain dead punish the landing which is what chef's doing and then he dies for this good back out there he went really far out and then shine is so good there because he falcon's trajectory can't change until he's at the apex of his drift it's just that wizzy's punish game is so monstrous that if you fuck up at all you're basically just dead guaranteed <laughs> just kind of frustrating to play against but Movement's really underrated. Movement is, like, the number one thing in Melee. That's what makes it, like... You can't be good without movement. I'm gonna probably look for someone to play against pretty soon. If I had to net play anyone on the West Coast, if I had to hit up anyone to net play, who would you guys want me to hit up? Give me a list of people you want to see. I don't really care who I play against today. Give me a character, a matchup. Nut doesn't have net play. Billy Bo Peep. Billy, I'm down to net play. I'm down to net play, Billy. That Goku's on. You live in Texas, you motherfucker. The Super. I'm in fucking Cali, Swoops. That Goku's on. S2J. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll look around. Let me know if anyone else is streaming. Okay, Stadium. After a minute pause. Ooh. 
full hop to catch him. I think this was to catch him running in for a grab, which he hasn't really called out too much. So I actually like this that he's calling that out a lot. Wizzy just went for the uh, stomp, though, or the knee. Look how good he has a dashing back on Falcon. Like, watch how crazy the spacing is. That's, like, right outside of range. Drill. And he's, so, I think he knows that every single time, basically, you're late on a tech chase, Wizzy's gonna wrap the boost, and so he's actually just, like, preemptively ready for it. Oh, I would run in and down tilt the fuck out of him. I remember seeing that being like, are you serious? He power shielded that. Like, there's the jump out back air. Bread and butter. Shine back air. Time yourself and Woodsy's dead. Play auto. If you can get auto to play me, I'll play auto. Try to get one laser. He basically wants to get one laser so that up smash will knock down. How did he convert off that up air? That's crazy. Side B from ledge. Oh my god. Cheesy. But it worked. He got the smash guy at 20. That's fucking ridiculous. And he like perfectly jumped out of it too. I remember seeing that and be like, that's unfortunate. I think he tried to shine away, but I think he was reading a roll in again. Stadium. Fucked with him. Nice. Just get out of there. Yeah, just get out of there. I don't mind pit at all versus Falcon. I'll take my chance in the pit every single day. Can't get there. Oh my god, this is so spaghetti. Didn't hold ledge long enough. I remember this game being a fucking shit show. Jordan, another side beat from ledge. But Wizzy can't do anything except for back throw, which he does. And then you just get ledge. Okay, up air kills off the tournament winner. This double jump back air is to get something to do something out of shield. So it's like you come down and then you jump to get them to do something out of shield and you back air them on the way down. I love it. There's there's a group. That was a really good up tilt. Had a good idea here, but he just did not execute this at all. I would, like the runoff rising there and then he just did nothing. Got jabs, got an up smash. Pokemon Stadium's a great stage. How? Like, how? <laughs> he just ran up and grabbed. I swear, Wizzy gets the most random grabs. It's actually so impressive. Holds in. Holds out on the second one, I think. Maybe. I'm shocked Wizzy didn't convert off of this. That That's like back air immediate knee. None would have hit that every single time. That would, That's another up air, too. Like, this, up air, up air. Dead. Back air. And then he goes for the worst one. I cannot believe that. Okay. So this should have definitely been death also. That should have been a back air immediately. Keep getting... That should have just been rinse and repeat getting him off stage until he's too low to recover. And then I don't know what happened there. This is just last stock melee. This is... So my guess what happened here is either he tried to he, i think he tried to like dash tech but like also wanted to like jump nair and then he like jumped and was like oh shit i need to do something he's like oh forward air i'll hit him that's a great move and then he falls off stage with it and dies because was he just gonna need the shit out of him i think his brain just like cross circuited there he had like too many ideas full hop nair so safe Wizzy literally, okay, look at this. Wizzy dash hands, dash hands, dash hands, runs across the stage and grabs. There was zero mix up there. I can't believe that. It should be shine, yeah. Then I smash and dead. I, like, I, I, it's almost funny watching some, like, the fact that, like, a player who's so good plays like that, it's almost refreshing. It's just, like, blunt. It's just, I'm going for this. That same knee I was talking about earlier that ended uh, the game on Dreamland. Wizzy gets it, like, every time. Good shine stall. And then rock transformation. Let's go, stadium. I'm pretty sure they wait here for a while. <laughs> dude, if, I, if I'm if i the person who's down, yeah, I'm going in, dude. I'm down. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to abuse the fact that I might not die for a while. Ooh, we got action. What happened here? 
Call it Wizzy trying to jump down Nair back air. Fair. Nair. This is so scary. Because you know, like, if the, the transformation comes down, Falcon can just literally random knee and you're fucking done. <laughs> that, that, that's your game. Good shit being game five with Wizzy. Back air. Nair again to cover him. And then catches him with another back air. Doesn't hold ledge long enough. Would I have killed here? If he had pummels, it might have. Then he caught him before he landed. And then he's dead. Let's go. Definitely not Wizzy's best play. Um, but I feel like that's just the nature of Wizzy's play style. So if his punish games are a little off, he's going to be fucked. And definitely a little sloppy from 